After years of promising us it would dominate the electric car world while showing us concept car after concept car, Volkswagen is finally ready to actually start producing large volumes of electric vehicles. Its first long-range model, the 2020 Volkswagen ID, received more than 15,000 pre-orders in the first few days after the order books opened. Volkswagen has laid out plans to build its own gigafactories to produce the large numbers of lithium-ion battery packs needed to let it produce 3 million electric vehicles per year by 2025. And yes, it's calling them gigafactories. Thanks, Tesla. And with plenty of money to throw at the battery and vehicle production problem, it really did look like Volkswagen was ready to make good on all of those promises. But it seems that Volkswagen's electric vehicle plans might be stalled, not by board members or some kind of bizarre conspiracy theory. There are still plenty of people out there who say Volkswagen doesn't want to produce electric vehicles and is only faking it right now. But by the same thing that other automakers are struggling with, battery supply. Despite everything it's tried to do, it seems that Volkswagen's deep pockets may not be enough to insulate it from the consequences of not jumping on the electric vehicle bandwagon and making its own battery plants a little earlier than now. While Volkswagen intends to eventually produce its own electric vehicle battery packs at facilities in Europe and the US, an ongoing court battle between LG Chem, one of its current chosen suppliers, and SK Innovation, a company Volkswagen wanted to build a gigafactory with, but which LG Chem accuses of stealing intellectual property, has certainly made things pretty complicated. LG Chem has allegedly threatened Volkswagen with halting all battery supplies to the company if it continues to work with SK Innovation. LG Chem said earlier this month that it does not believe SK Innovation would have won the contract with Volkswagen without the technology it alleges SK Innovation stole. That battle is expected to take two or maybe even three years to progress through the courts, which would slow Volkswagen's US battery facility plans quite substantially. With those facilities not due to come online yet, Volkswagen has had to look elsewhere to find the battery cells it needs for that initial vehicle production. And while it has been pretty shrewd in that search, signing deals with multiple different battery suppliers to ensure all of the eggs are not in one metaphorical basket, it seems that Volkswagen is now scrabbling around to reshuffle its existing battery cell contracts. That, says Bloomberg, is because Volkswagen is unsure if Samsung SDI will actually be able to produce the battery cells it initially agreed to provide to Volkswagen. Sources close to both companies say that while Samsung's original agreement with Volkswagen would have seen 20 gigawatt hours of cells sent to the automaker, that's enough for 200,000 long-range electric cars or more, Samsung SDI later cut that pledge to one quarter of its original figure. It's not clear why that happened, but honestly, if I had to guess, I'd suggest Samsung SDI either got a better offer from another automaker or simply doesn't have the production facilities and materials to keep to its original pledge. Originally, Samsung was meant to be one of Volkswagen's primary cell suppliers in European market vehicles alongside LG Chem and SK Innovation. And in Germany, it plans to operate its own in-house manufacturing facility for battery cells through a partnership with Swedish firm Northvolt. And in China, Volkswagen had chosen cattle for its batteries. And in the US, of course, as I've already noted, there was going to be a joint production facility between Volkswagen and SK Innovation. While Volkswagen says that Samsung SDI is still a battery cell supplier for the European market, this massive drop in promised cell production means that Volkswagen will be looking elsewhere for at least 15 gigawatt hours of battery cells. For some context, let's look at just how many cells Tesla's Gigafactory is currently producing in Reno Sparks, Nevada. Back in April, Tesla's Gigafactory 1 was churning out an effective 23 gigawatt hours of cells per year. And while Tesla's cell consumption rate is a lot higher, Tesla buys in its own cells as well as making them, the amount of cells Volkswagen is now looking for is equivalent to 65% of Tesla's Gigafactory 1 current annual output. That's a lot of battery cells. For Volkswagen, which is coming to the electric vehicle market late, finding a new source for those cells is super important. 
But in a world where battery supplies are being ever increasingly squeezed and battery suppliers are charging increasingly more for their cells, that might be a harder issue than some would assume. Sure, Volkswagen has a butt-ton of money. Its dieselgate finds really only scratch the surface of the company's massive coffers. But now we get to see how deep its pockets will go to ensure it can meet its promised EV production targets, something that very few automakers can do without incurring major debt. And that, ultimately, is where Volkswagen is. It has money to throw at the problem like this, and even if the result is overpriced batteries, Probably it has enough momentum, though, to suffer the profit drop to ensure it can reach those promised vehicles. If it doesn't, or its board decides that the cost of entry is currently too high, well, like every other major automaker, it may find itself rolling back its planned production goals for electric vehicles, as in fact it did earlier this year for the Audi e-tron. And that won't be good for anyone. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell and support the channel with Patreon, Ko-fi or by grabbing some swag from our swag shop. And let me know what you think of all of this. A lot of people have commented they're not so convinced with the old green screen setup and it takes a little longer to edit. So we thought we'd give the bookcase set a go. Hey, I mean, it works for many, many other YouTube channels, including Answers with Joe. Hi, Joe. He watches the channel. The 10 set will probably hang around for the Saturday Roundup show, though, if you like it, of course. And on that note, should we keep this? Should we ditch it? Should we go back to the old studio? Oh, and if you want this set to continue or one like it, should we get a P.O. box so that people can send us stuff for these shelves? Let us know below. I'll be back soon with another episode. But until then, keep evolving.